Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Jay the Place here, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm going to be doing a review video uh, on this game here, Raymond Adventures. If you haven't seen my previous video where I played this game, go check it out. And uh, yeah, let's get into this review. So basically, this game, it's all about, um, I'm, you have to collect like these little creatures that are following Raymond right here. And go through different st stages and eventually you'll unlock an egg. And then that egg you need to wait for a specific amount of time and then it will hatch into a uh, uh, one of these creatures that as you can see here I have uh, elephants uh, for this mission so yeah um, there are different missions like there are different worlds which we'll get into later there are different worlds that can go to this is one of them and here's another one and um, yeah each world has their own kind of like theme going on so uh, yeah basically all you have to do is make it to the end find all the secrets and boom, you can get some stuff here, you can get some gems and stuff. And here are some of the worlds. Here's Wild Wild East, Medieval Mayhem, and Sea of Serendipity, Olympus Maximus, and also Toad Story. All these uh, levels you can go to, like, as you can see, there are eggs here. That uh, if I click on them, then I'll go to that specific world. And you can also use this uh, little spyglass. I only have one. Usually I would save the spyglass, but for this video I'll use it and boom, see? You can uh, reveal the rarity of the eggs. Um, so basically, now I just need to choose which one I want to go for. So let's go for this. Um, during the recording of this video, I didn't know that that was a prize egg and not a real egg. But yeah, here is your uh, tree. The, this tree is where all of the your little um, incredibles, your little helpers will stay. So basically there are different families and as your tree grows larger, um, more families will be unlocked and basically you just have to collect um, as many as possible and they come in different eggs. There's like a bronze egg, a silver egg and then a, a, a golden egg and then there's a crystal egg. That If you get a crystal egg, that means that is the last family member. So uh, yeah, and you can do also this little beatbox, you can beatbox with your little um, Incredibles, which is pretty cool. Each of them play a different like uh, beat or like kind of different uh, sound. I mean all of them have the same sound but each of them play like a different beat, like some is high, some is low. And uh, yeah, and you, you kind of have to get lucky. There are some prize eggs. Prize eggs, they don't contain any... Um, uh, creatures in them. You have to find an egg that is not a prize egg. You will be able to tell the difference. It's, it's very easy to tell the difference and also when you're beatboxing you can also save the beatbox. So if you like a specific song you can just press one of these tracks and then boom you can save them. See as you can see up there track 2. So yeah now it's being saved. And uh, yeah and now this is a gameplay of look this is a mission is called find the trap teensy so now you want to use these guys the seekers the seekers can help you find three secrets in one level so you can use them for how long you want let me show you here look see he shows me where the teensy is so if you're very bad at finding secrets you can just use these guys and they can help you out each of them give you three secrets so in one level you can have up to three seekers so that will, they will reveal about, um, if my maths are correct, nine secrets in one level. So boom, see that's the second seeker, and then boom, that's the third one. And then later they, they kind of go to bed after that. So these secrets, if you're not really a secret person, because this game has a lot of secrets. So um, yeah, so if you're, if you're really struggling with a level, you can um, have these uh, secrets by your side. As you can see here, boom, they're helping me out. Um, usually I do not use the secret because usually I like finding the secrets all by myself and uh, but for the sake of this video I'm gonna show you guys like see you can see like like they will show you where the secret is but you need to figure out how to get to the secret see look they show them they show you where it is look it's right there but you have to figure out a way to get there they won't show you the way they just show you where it is you just need to find a way to get down there and uh, yeah as you can see here, boom. See, that you can go through that roof and you find a little uh, skull coin. So these seekers are very situational. If you're not like a secret finding kind of guy or woman, you can just use the seekers. So, and all these seekers, um, they come from different families. Um, like, the right now I'm using the pinkies. I think this pink one is, called, is from the pinky family. And then the other, the orange one is from the blank blank family. And then the last, the green one is from the Green Pieces family. 
the longer, like the more you grow your tree, oh yeah, the way you grow your tree is the more creatures you unlock and uh, the higher the rarity of the creature, the more kind of like energy balls they put inside your tree. They put like energy balls and if it's silver, they'll put two energy balls in the tree and then if it's gold, three. If it's crystal, you'll get four and then if it's bronze, then it's just one. So um, each ball is 10 meters added to your tree. So yeah, the more you grow your tree, the more families you unlock and then yeah. And this is another mission, catch all the lumps. So this one, you want to use these guys, the inhalers. Suck all uh, nearby lumps and coins. The more inhalers you have, the more their suction power is increased. So you can have three. Um, this level doesn't really show a good job of how the sucking power works. I'll have another clip coming up, uh, a 15 second clip showing you that they actually do attract lumps. Like these guys are just in the cages. In the, the cages, all you have to do is break them and then they automatically go into your little um, meter up there. They don't like, you don't need to suck them up. So as you can see here, I'll just show you guys the whole level because, you know, I, I want to show it out. But this level is not really a good, I don't know how you say, representation of the, um, the uh, lump sucking mechanism. But uh, I think after this clip, there will be a small little clip where you can see, uh, I think, give me a sec. Alright, here it is. See, as you can see, the lumps, they come towards me. Look. See, look at that. They come towards me. So, yeah, that's what the inhalers do. They're, they're, it, you can also use these guys. This is not, um, uh, these, are, these guys are protectors. They basically protect you, as the name implies. This is not a, uh, the protector stage. This is another stage where you have to race against the clock. So, like, as you can see that there's three teensies up there. So uh, you have to save them because they're about to shoot off like a rocket. They're, they're tied to rockets. So as you can see here, protectors, look, I can just walk through them and then they, they just kind of defeat the enemies in front of you. So you got to be quick. This kind of level, these time levels, you have to be quick. So as you can see there in the top of the screen, see, look, that TNT flew away because I was too late. And see, look, they're tied to rockets. So you have to be quick and try to get the best time. Don't worry, after this recording, I did go ahead and three star or three lump thing this uh, level and this is the actual protector this one you have to fight the protector levels are always like fight someone and then the the seekers are always find something and then the inhalers are always catch all the lumps or something like that so as you can see here this is a crazy level this is a skull level if you guys do not know skull levels are well, they're more, they're, they are levels, but they're more difficult versions. Like, look at this, look at this, look at how difficult this is. You gotta move fast, and I got a daily mission completed. Uh, I'll talk about the daily missions um, um, later. Um, I don't know when, but probably soon. But uh, yeah, so the protector is, uh, I just ran into a glitch right here. So basically, they make you immune to any damage that the enemies provide to you. Like, if you get hit by an enemy, um, you kind of block it, and you can, you can be immune to lava, and stuff like that so you basically have an extra life and there's also these golden lucky tickets where if you scratch them you get a reward usually i would like to save these but for the sake of the video i'm gonna scratch let's see what i get nice so i think i got how much is that six tokens oh four okay so yeah you just have to match three uh, three things oh look i got another daily mission so you have to match three and then eventually you'll get a uh the, uh, get a, uh, get a reward. You have to match three things, and here you can also complete daily mission. And then if you tap on the little ticket, it will fall into ticket. See as you saw there, boom. So basically, all you have to do is complete your daily missions, and that's one piece of the ticket. So let's see what I get. We got an egg, a telescope, two gems, an iron ticket. Looks like I got gems. So as you can see here, they combine all the gems, and boom. Um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, usually I would save them for costumes, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just um, uh, buy a ticket. So anyway, this is the uh, achievement section where you can see all the achievements that you can get. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, beginner's luck. Each each um, achievement, there is uh, you, you get a special reward, like 50 gems, 25 gems. And here are the costumes that I was talking about uh, for saving up. I have one of Raymond's costumes, Sir Rayola. And whenever you equip them, they do a nice little little animation. This game is very expressive, as you can tell. Here's Classic Raymond. Here's Funky Ray. All of them, you need gems, except um, this one right here. 
Raybox, you need to connect to Facebook. So whoever has a Facebook account, you can have this uh, special skin. And Barbara, and this is a description of her. Here's, she's another character, Barbara. I have two skins of hers, Olymp Olympia and uh, I forgot the other one. Oh, this one. What's the name again? I totally forgot. Uh, Alyssa, there we go. So this is classic Barbara. If you click on the question mark, all the characters have descriptions, so you can go and read read on them if you want. And uh, yeah, here's all the costumes. Well, not all of them. Um, I think the most costumes, Raymond and Barbara have the most costumes, I think. But I'm not so certain about that. And uh, yeah, here's the Teensy Wizard. Um, I just have one, one of them. So uh, yeah, there we go. Oh wait, we have a little royal egg. It's not called crystal egg. I checked the rarity. It's not called crystal. It's royal egg. So let's see what we get. Where's the egg? Oh, there we go. One, two, and three. And here we go. We got Tipsy from the Pinkies. So as you can see there in the top left corner, you can see royal. And whenever you tap them, they do a nice animation. And if you click the heart, that means you like them. And then if they, if you, if you unfavorite them, then they'll do a little sad animation. So whenever you get a royal egg, that means you completed the family. Look at them. Look at all the family members. They're, they're trying to see their last family member. And one, two, three, four. There's four um, little balls there. And boom, my tree is now 620 and level up. New families have been unlocked. So there you go. Whenever you get a royal egg, that means you're about to complete a family. Look, pinkies, family completed. So yeah, I completed the pinkies and you get a nice little photo of all the family members there. Very cute, very cute. And I think you get a lucky ticket by completing a family. I think. Yeah, there we go. It's not easy completing the families, but once you do, you feel so rewarding. So yeah, here's some other families, the Sudi. You, you use the chicken bones to kind of like refresh them. Every time you use them in a level, they kind of like go to sleep. So they're like a one-time use. But while you're in the levels, you can feed them chicken. So you don't have to go here all the time. Now here are the new families that we have unlocked, the troopers and the whiners. And there, if you see Raymond sleeping there, if you tap on him, then that's like the costume section. So you don't have to always go to your little thing down there. So let's go into the lucky ticket. And whenever you click on the ticket uh, icon, that always says lucky. So let's see what we have here. We have nice. We got some more gems. I'm gonna need that for some more costumes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry this video is so long. As I said, sorry this video is so long because there's a lot of substance in this game. And that's a creature egg. The more you play, the more you'll understand which is a creature egg and which is a prize egg. All right, guys. That's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this video was so long, again, a lot of substance in this game. And uh, yeah, this game is amazing. It also got awarded with the Editor's Choice Award, so you know it's a good game. Uh, the only thing I would want to add is I wish it was another game mode, because you have to wait for a specific time for the eggs to hatch. So yeah, that's my only problem. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like on this video, comment anything related to this video, and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe for more of me, and until my next video, see ya!